My name is Father Neil Dabliwala. I'm a priest here at the Cathedral of Christ the King, and I'm going to be speaking on the Sacrament of Holy Orders. We as Catholics believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became man and that he lived among us. While he was here on earth, he fulfilled a particular mission given to him by his Father. He taught and shepherded the people. He healed bodily and spiritual illness. But most importantly, he offered himself on the cross in sacrifice for the salvation of the world. He was and is our true and eternal High Priest. After Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven, he left behind his apostles who were to continue his mission on earth. The apostles in turn selected certain men to be their successors who were called bishops. They ordained these bishops through the laying on of hands and the invocation of the Holy Spirit, which we call the Sacrament of Holy Orders. Over time, the Church has come to a deeper understanding of the nature of Holy Orders, but we see from the very beginning that Christ intended that His Church would be ordered according to a certain hierarchy. We see in the Scriptures that Christ established three degrees of Holy Orders, bishops, priests, and deacons. Bishops share in the fullness of Holy Orders and typically serve as the head of a local church or a diocese. Priests are the bishop's co-workers in his ministry and typically serve in a local parish or some other church institution. And finally, deacons are ordained to help and serve the bishops and priests. At ordination, the deacon, priest, or bishop receive special gifts of the Holy Spirit, which strengthen and bring to life his particular ministry. Ordination occurs during a mass when, as part of the rite, the bishop lays his hands in silence on the head of the man and then invokes the Holy Spirit in a special prayer of consecration. Each degree of ordination confers a different grace and privilege, from the ability to preach granted to deacons, to the power to act in the person of Christ in offering the Mass and forgiving sins granted to priests, to a special grace of strength granted to bishops, which allow them to teach and lead and sanctify their flock. The Sacrament of Holy Orders should ultimately be considered as a gift given by Christ for the service of His people so that His mission of salvation may be carried on until the end of time.